I was teaching at a high school in North Carolina at the time, and one of the kids came running in the room, and he said, he said, hey, coach, somebody just flew an airplane into the uh, World Trade Center. And I thought, no, that's got to be wrong. And sure enough, we went and got a TV, and we turned it on and, and watched this whole thing happen in front of our, in front of our eyes. And I have to tell you, my very first thought was for my youngest brother, who for three years had worked in one of those towers. And I called back, and I don't know if she remembers this, but I called my mom to find out if he was still in Europe where he lives now um, and make sure he wasn't there. And I know thousands of other people made that same call in America that day. And, you know, for at least uh, 3,000 families, the answer was not the answer that they were looking for. Tom Tancredo had a, a, an op-ed piece in the paper the other day, and he said, um, Five years after 9/11, we have to figure out what it is we're fighting for. Well, I'm going to respectfully, I'm going to respectfully disagree with him. We all know what we're fighting for. We've known for a long time. We've known for 230 years what we're fighting for here in America. And I can sum it up in the words of, of uh, some of our uh, founding fathers and the people who came after them: Thomas Jefferson, Declaration of Independence. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, among which are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Abraham Lincoln, 90 years later, four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now, they may not have meant men the way I understand it, but the, when I hear that, I, I think of men, meaning all, all, all humankind, of men, women, black, white, all different kinds of, of persuasions. And I think that's what we fight for, and I don't think there's any confusion about that in America. I think the question we have to ask ourselves today is, are we safer than we were five years ago? Are we a stronger nation than we were five years ago? And are we more secure than we were five years ago? And I think the answer on all three questions is no, and we have to change that and turn it around. We have to go out and put this country back on the right path, and I think that's what today is all about. I'm not going to take answers, questions and answers. I'm not going to talk about issues. Because I think that this, in many ways, is a very somber day, and we ought to think about that. And I don't want to muddy that up with talking about all the other things that, that, while they are important to us, what's in my heart today is 3,000 people that lost their lives, and, and all the people who knew them, all the people who knew them, who are still struggling to find out why that.